Nice play there by McGuire. It'll be a corner kick here, though, for Loose City. Mogul on the corner. See Powell's there near the goal line, number 96 foot seven. The header finds Twine. Excellent execution there by Sean Tosh, and it's 1 0 Loose City. Man, that was quick. That Jake McGuire can do, but it's going to be a frustrating one once again for Lewis Neal. Someone loses their individual battle, their individual marking. What a terrific header. Doesn't need to hit it too hard, just needs to help it on too quick for Jake McGuire to react and lose City. Of the 18. Stanley will deliver it. That header just missed. Christian Sordo, and we're locked up at 1-1. It's like they heard you, Ricky, from way up top. 32nd minute, Christian Sordo off the set piece. Good things happen when you put the ball in a dangerous area. It's a fantastic ball in for Maiden Stanley. Not dealt nearly well enough by Sean Tosh, but who's going to be the first to react? It's Christian Sordo. We talked about it. What a brilliant opportunity it is for him just to make that position his. Fantastic strike. Don't imagine. That'll be the only change for both Lewis Neal and Danny Cruz. Gonzalez, we had great position. The top of the box deflected in by Harris is in good. It's 2-1 Loose City. Man, that's a dynamite performance from Loose City. Great move by Danny Cruz, and Wilson Harris pays it off here in the 48th minute. Just plays off the shoulder, Paco Craig, between him and Ben Ophiemu. At the last second, he creates that little bit of separation and darts across Paco Craig. Gets caught ball watching the center back, and what a terrific bit of technique. Coming across your body, left foot, open up your hips. Don't let it hit it too hard. Just use the momentum against you. And that man needs to be very happy, looking like a genius. He comes in at halftime, and he puts your side up. Three minutes after, Lewis City in the lead here in Miami. That the secondary center back can't come across when you have a player like Lewis. Lewis Wilson, he's going to make you pay every single day of the week. Back post, Paco Craig got up, tried selling it. Rivas finds the corner, and he picks it. A sudden burst from Joaquin Rivas, who found the reprieve here in the 62nd minute. He missed an opportunity seconds ago. Not to be denied here, though. You draw a foul 30 yards in. You put the ball into the mixer, and you say, go out and get it. Create a little bit of individual brilliance. And that's going to be the frustration with Joaquin Rivas because he misses a sitter moments ago, and then he can pull out a fantastic strike. The technical ability it takes to pull this off. Traffic on. Tosh trying to put a dagger into the heart of Miami FC. Looking for a second goal tonight. Tosh on the approach, and he scores. 74th minute, Sean Tosh. Second goal of the contest. Loose City up again, 3-2. Brian Nomi has the whereabouts. Michael, Michael Salazar needs to be better. There's no need to drop your shoulder. And then it's Sean Tosh, the center back, cool as you would like. Eyes up at the goalkeeper the whole way. Makes him go his way, sends him packing off to the corner. Duke down, show a bit of fight and a character because the talent is definitely there. It's just executing, especially in that final third. Great ball. Hello. Repetto spins to Salazar. Good positioning, Cabral's turn, and he's got it! They have been knocked down on numerous occasions tonight, and they have responded in time, not once, not twice, but three times. For Lou City, and then it's all about the extra pass here from Michael Salazar as he draws in Ray Serrano. Gabriel Cabral, top of the 18-yard box, great first touch out of his body. Yes, it takes a bit of a deflection, but will not care for Gabriel Cabral. Fantastic team goal from Miami FC once again. This season, Joaquin Rivas is two for two on penalties. Zemla has only stopped one of five shots. Rivas to put Miami FC on the board and ahead, and he does. Joaquin Rivas with his own brace in the 87th minute. And all of a sudden, they go from down and out to well ahead and alive, 4-3 Miami. You get caught squared if you lunge in. You're 
You're gonna get caught in trouble. Joaquin Rivas, probably not the best pen that he's ever hit in his career. Definitely one of the most effective. Close up his hips at the last second into the corner. Zemla guesses the right way. And every decision matters as well. Yep. Decision making, how many times have we seen teams have the wheels fall off or Baca plays long. Gleadle, he spots Koke off. Gleadle! You don't need to press them high, you just have to have them force a turnover. And then when you have Baca, the play that we highlighted in the open, Real State in behind, Frank up one and slam Greedle to make those direct runs into the space. And how decisive and how clinical can he be when he gets himself into the attacking 18 yard box? Great first touch to close down the angle, head up, sees Koke Vegas, rock footed, near post, off to the corner, celebrate Monterey Bay as their goal here in the first half. A lot of traffic oncoming towards the goal mount. So for a goalkeeper, how decisive are you coming off your line? You don't want to get caught in no man's land here. Murphy offering, header stopped in! There's the second for Monterey Bay, Alex Lara! Set pieces, you expect quality especially when James Murphy is on it, but where's the defending on the back post? Lack thereof, that's not X and O's. That's just willingness to not lose your individual battle when you give a play of the quality of Alex Lara. That time and space, free header, is never gonna miss. And he, he said at the time, that's the 2-7 matchup. If I finish second, I see Phoenix. <laughs> Guzman. Seeking the back post, and the header is lifted over the line and in. San Diego rips one back just minutes away from halftime. Ball rotates over, but if you're Herrera, you need to be a bit more decisive coming off your line. Guzman puts the ball into a dangerous area. Yes, it's a bit of confusion between Roberts. I think it's Adrian Perez on the back end of it. But I think if you're Frank Yalp, how cheaply you give away this goal. As a goalkeeper, you're known, you're taught. Long ball down the flank. Donner taking on 1v1. Ball across, and it's in! It's in! San Diego level! Do you believe this? Nalani! His first pro goal! How clinical can you be in both boxes, but give credit to Bodily. Sizes up, Donor knows exactly where he wants his ball. The run from Conway, they draw out the center backs from Monterey Bay. They're retreating, so the cutback ball, one of the most effective balls in all of football. And then you have the youngster, Nalati, arriving late. You see. Is there something really magical here for San Diego? Corona through, out to Hackworth. Hackworth chipping, Conway, save, foul up is in! Oh, he's done it again! Nalani the winner! A genuine San Diego miracle! Patience, decision making, it's not on on this left flank, let's circulate the ball. Simple and efficient. But I do think if you're Frank Yelp, you're gonna be asking where's the marking, especially on the back post, but give credit to Morgan Hackworth. Put the ball in a dangerous area. Tell Evan Conrad to go up and big it. And Herrera does everything right, pushes it wide, but it's asking for the back post defending, which is not there. And can he get his brace? Yes, he can, the youngster. You see what it means to him. You see what it means to every single player. Phoenix playing with their tails up now. Harvey knocks it out wide. It's Danny Trejo. Trejo's cross in front! Carlos Harvey! Phoenix is finally broken through!
brilliant finish. The pressure was coming all the time. Look at that, the energy. He runs into the box. First half, we didn't see them. This is where he's powerful, he's strong. Danny Trejo with the tricks, puts it in there. And Harvey with that brave diving header at the near post, gets the break for the eventually. They've thrown more numbers forward, Phoenix Rising, and they've got their just rewards. The first goal of the game. Carlos Harvey. Carlos. Carlos Harvey wheels away in celebration. Adrian Display in particular, who can cause problems for the Phoenix defense. Lindley driven ball in, the header's down and in! Adrian Dees pay the late equalizer for Indy 11. They steal a result in Phoenix. Look at this corner, fantastic, but gets up so well, Adrian Dees pay. Whoever was marking him, let him go. And it looks like, of all people, as Daniel Critson, who was brought on specifically, you would think, to lock things up. Doesn't stay tight enough, Dees pay gets away from him and thunders that ball into the back of the net, gives Rios Novo no chance whatsoever. Sideways now, corner flag whipping there, you see right at Harvey Neville. In swinger, aided by the wind, flicked on by Ryan and headed home! Their fourth corner in the first 20 minutes, and finally, it pays dividends, the 10th of the year for Zach Ryan. Our brilliant way just to get the opener as that garage just peels off the top of the 18-yard box, gets away from his individual marker, and what a fantastic flick on header. Doesn't need to hit it. Mogul stands over this one. They've been out there for the in-swingers of Jimenez lately, but no longer on the field, so it's the out-swinger of Mogul. Comes out from Maris! What a way to tie it! Dylan Maris, level at one! Up coming into this game just to give something that was lacking in terms of quality but just terrific technique terrific audacity to let this ball fall down after half volley even go between del piccolo and harris maris wilson harris louisville on the way to three points from behind Wilson Harris just gives you the ability to create something out of nothing, create his own space, and that's something that's so important as a striker. How's that for a little pullback to send Turner packing the bend, the whip, the precision? You see the disbelief on the back end of it from the Latin players, from the Latin faithful. Fantastic strike. Top quality from Wilson Harris to give his ninth. Forbes, hit her down and in! Joey Farrell! What a dynamic, darting header to put Pittsburgh ahead! Corner kick for Pittsburgh, and they absolutely punish. There's been two or three deliveries that are coming in the air, and Farrell has been absolutely magnificent at attacking the ball. And here he does what he does best, near post area. He doesn't even need to put much power onto this delivery. He just guides it on frame, and the ball does the... Quantum Spirits corner kick. The Riverhounds header in again! Oh! Arturo Donez! Two perfect headers have the Riverhounds two goals ahead! For Pittsburgh, two goals. And before that, there were a couple of warning signs, but again, Forbes with a great delivery here. But just look how high Arturo gets up above everybody else. He's inches, there's nobody close to him, and he buries this into the back of the net. Again, just using the pace of the ball from Canado Forbes. Beautiful delivery, doesn't need to do anything apart from all. Is the great dead ball specialist for New Mexico. Jamali Waite, the 24-year-old goalkeeper, awaits. Portillo scores! New Mexico is alive tonight. Game on here in Pittsburgh. 43, Justin what a finish. Into the side net in top corner gives weight no chance. You know, when you get opportunities in front of goal, and that's the tricky part, you just really need to be effective. This is going to bounce kindly. Barajas 
We've got two in support in the box. Vidal Barajas onto his preferred left. Again, cuts it back. Deflection and what an opener. A brilliant finish from Fidel Barajas. The first one on frame. What a start for Charleston. Trying to push themselves right up to the top of the East. Wow, just what a play. You know, a lucky bounce here, yes, but you need to take advantage of those as well. Look at the calm here. Gets inside the box. You know, makes the move that will favor his shot. And uh, when he's ready, he takes on the challenge. This was small deflection as well. No opportunity for the goalkeeper. To the back of the net it goes. Solid start for the home side. Not as quick a start from their match against Loudon. Tristan Traeger scored within 30 seconds then, but they'll take a goal within the first five minutes. That's goal number three from their wonder kid. And a player in some space. Barajas brings it in. Oh, my word! Oh. What a talent he is. Two on the day, and they have been magic with that wand of a left foot. Fidel Barajas had two entering today, has two within 40. The beauty of a goal. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. How talented is Barajas? It's just, uh, what a finish. <laughs> I mean, there's no goalkeeper in the world that will be able to stop that. That right there, Jose, is the definition of top corner. It could not, it could not be more top corner than that. That should be a poem right there. That's a poem. That's it's it's just outstanding from him. You know, the technical ability, the celebration as well. He's a player who's enjoying himself right now, and it's showing in the way he's playing. They can try and progress. They quickly move it forward. Haji, far side. Bird called for it. He got it. Can he line one up? It's low. What a Ooh. shot. Is that a route back in? Special, special effort from Eric Bird from distance. They've cut the lead in half. Tulsa fighting for their playoff lives. The captain leading the way for Tulsa. Takes in the challenge. The ball, again, bounces right in front of the goalkeeper. We saw that happen a few moments ago. It was the save, the first one, not the second one. A great shot from Bird and a great way to lead this team back into the game. There's improvements to be, to be made. There's a bad giveaway. Connor Rutz has it. Rutz steps up, gives it a lash. Rice with the stop. Dario Suarez puts it in the left side. Detroit City FC takes a 1-0 lead. Dario Suarez. And angles the body to be able to get an attempt on goal. Two mistakes here made by Rice in the goal. The shot's right at him, doesn't catch Perry's, but then doesn't come and challenge for the ball. Leaves it sitting in the six yard box. That allowed Dario Suarez to turn on the jet. Levi's lining it up with Maxi Rodriguez. Rodriguez drives it, header in the back of the net. Maxi Rodriguez to Michael Bryant. Two nil City. Hang it in the Louvre. That one was perfect. Service on a dime. Perfectly controlled header. Perfect body position. Nothing Rice could do. Detroit City needed. That's an all time set piece here at Keyworth. Watch the spinning ball. Drops in. Free run. Great body position, escape your marker. Here I am, here's the second goal of the night. Boy, and Joe Rice was just an unfortunate victim of circumstance. We will see who comes out in the meantime. There's a corner for Detroit City, brought to you by Mystic811.org. Corner slung in, across, in the back of the net! Matt Lewis! Some artistry to put City up 3-0. And City, after being on the back foot for most of the second half, gets the goal flicked on. What a touch by Lewis.
This is incredible. Watch this. Little crossover in the neighborhood of Ekra. Jan Ekra just picked the pocket of the opposition. And now here comes Tampa Bay. Jennings, a run. Kyle Jennings, score! Number 15 on the season for Kyle Jennings. Look at Jan Ekra coming from midfield, just carving up the defense. Now he's in on goal with that first touch through. And look at the finish. Drew Fellias put the detail's house on the desk before the shot. Into corner Sparrow's last post, but it all started with a high press that we're seeing right now from 901, disrupting the Rowdies as they try to play out to the back. Counter press, of course, conjures up so many goals, as you see here again. Once again, Memphis threatening, and that one is in. Da Costa strikes once again for the visitors, and we are level at one. Well, the counter press works to perfection. Look at this. Jan Ekra got caught, and look at Rodrigo da Costa. He looks off his man and just bends it around corner spiral like a free kick. That is just perfection by the Brazil. Have goals for both teams. Jennings oh. and Acosta, and here comes Cal Jennings again. Jennings in another foot race, crosses it back, and scores again! Unbelievable! This guy is like a video game. Drew, he's played in. This is something out of nothing. Williams the flick on. Now Smith is in position. This is not the Turchi rather the Brazilian. He takes him on. And look at the finish, the confidence. He pulls this right, finishes this left. Game over. Asking for the foul. Excellent defense by Graham Smith. Memphis quick striking here tonight. Another chance. Put it in front of goal and score. Da Costa. One more time. And we're level at two. Well, JJ Williams is asking the question, but Memphis's press works again. They completely stifle the Rowdies, and McFadden gets his third assist in three games. Consecutive goals against the Rowdies now. Here's Fernando. A lovely touch by the Costa, and back into the arms of the feet, rather, of the Costa. But it all starts with the press. Download now E Football 2024. Take my advice. Anybody looking for a good footing. Oh. This ball is at the feet of. Da Costa, the open net, and Memphis will make the Rowdies pay. What a play. Collisions all over the pitch. This Carriaga's ball, brilliant. Sparrows in two minds. Da Costa got there. There's the follow through. But look at Carriaga following up the play. And a beautiful bit of technique. Once again. Here's Carriega, already sitting on a goal from Memphis. And again, it's Da Costa. He scores, and he's got the hat trick. Rodrigo Da Costa with a performance to savor here tonight at St. Pete. Well, sixes and sevens at the back, and it's this man, Carriega, in the second half. Last, but here it is again. Here's Carriega taking the ball right down to Clemont. Now he looks over to his left, and guess what? Jordan Doherty completely leaves the Costa by himself. At the half, Detroit City against Hartford, a game that Trevor James's group leads to have. They lead 2-0 at the break, as do Ben Pierman's Charleston Battery against Tulsa. And here's Romario Ooh. Williams. Oh, it's absolutely <laughs> sensational. Wow. What a finish. A wonderful goal from Romario Williams out of the top drawer. And Colorado Springs takes a 1-0 lead with an absolutely sparkling finish. And not many of them have been better than this. Such a sweet strike there. Upper 90. Good luck to the keeper. Out of nowhere as well. Danny Vitiello was probably saying his prayers when he saw it struck. Aaron Wheeler trying to disrupt Shane Wheat. Fjellberg sneaks in behind to keep it in. Wheeler tries to help it along. It's Enriquez in the middle. It's Ireland Enrique! 
<laughs> wow. Absolutely what a finish. incredible. It's an extraordinary finish from Jairo Enriquez. And the switchbacks are in dreamland in stoppage time. The roof comes off at Winder Field. Great pressure here. Keep the ball in, and there's a moment of magic here. Unbelievable finish. <laughs> what a dream finish that is. Don't forget that one. Both of the switchbacks' goals tonight oh. have been absolutely incredible. Vitiello gets a hand to it, but can't keep it out. A ton of points on the sheet there, and you know, there's new additions. We have Santiago Patino, now we have Nathan Bogasha there on the side as well. Tanny. Drops it off, Nathan! San Antonio strikes early and puts it on the board for one. Speaking of the devil, Nathan comes in just in the nick of time. And from who else? Tani Aluasheyi laying it off perfectly. We saw that in the last game against Tampa. Two together up top. They are unstoppable. Great service in. Just great collective effort all the way. And fantastic there for Nathan to have the wherewithal to say, hey, let's go for the side netting opposite side. Nathan's second goal in as many matches. And his 13th goal and 34 overall with SAFC. Try to get on the end of it. Jorge Hernandez. Good ball into the box. Headed in! How about that from Tulu? The header is true and San Antonio extends the lead to two. He has the defensive headers down. Now he has the offensive headers down. My goodness, this guy is fearless. Take a look back here. Beautiful service, perfectly parked in the back. He gets himself away from the defender, and he places it in a place that most keepers are not going to be able to get to. And completely unmarked as Tulu gets his fourth career goal in U.S. Jameson upfield. Trying to pressure Tainer Hernandez. Zuhir. Olawashi turning past powers. He's got Patino to his right. Takes it to his left. Puts it in. Tani Olawashi back on the board for the first time since August 5th. His 15th goal of the season. And just like that, he breaks the scoring drought. Took the space. A nice little fake to the side. And then a quick trigger. And given up just five goals in the previous four starts against SAFC is. Allowed three here tonight to Corey Hayes. Nathan trying to lay it off for Patino and it gets through. The chip, the goal for Santi. And it's 4-0 San Antonio FC running away with it here at Toyota Field. As Oprah would say, a goal for you, a goal for you, and a goal for you. Hey, I've got it. To Corey Hayes with the win. He sees the seam. Leave it to Nathan to pass it on. Racks up another assist. But really, for me, it's Santiago's confidence and patience in that moment to just relax the body. The first big Benny chance for, Fe for Phoenix Rising. And now a Paso. That's a good ball off to the left side. He's going to try and cross it in. There's a cross. Oh, there, there. That's a goal! Shooting it across, and Aaron Gomez. You ask for a Chicarito, you got one. Absolutely fantastic goal. Petrovic, Petrovic has been the most dangerous player for us, and, and Aaron Gomez. Generally speaking, though, the Western Conference is stronger than the Eastern, so El Paso shouldn't be scared of, of any of it, especially after a good result today. Oh, no! A last minute goal from Phoenix out of nothing! Darius Formella opened up. Let's see it. I, oh, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure. I see what you see. I see, yeah. Especially, again, no VAR, so we're not going to be able no to tell. Way. But but because he was leaning in. Here of Maury Doner and Wilmer Martinez and Tamakas on the far side. So something to keep an eye on. Watch out here. Comes through for Galito. Has somebody running across with him. It's Dixon. What a start for Monterey Bay on the road. Alex 
Alex Dixon, a dozen goals on his season. He looked like it was always going to come down to Sam Guido and Alex Dixon just to test the shape of the Oka Roos, but give credit to Sam Guido because the timing, the unselfishness, puts his ball into the path of Alex Dixon. As he draws in Emmer Clementa, you tell your special player, Alex Dixon, your leading goal scorer, go out and make a difference. Cassiano, Enriquez, served in by Tamakas on the ground, Barbier! What a moment for Danny Barbier! The most consistent center back on the team at the other end, nets a goal and we're level! His outside backs and his wing backs play with. Memo Diaz provides it with, so that gives Danny Barbier the ability just to join the attack as he sees fit. Gets himself in a very dangerous area. Shot for Brian Tamakis, gets deflected. But talk about the composure from Danny Barbier. Collects himself, draws out Herrera. Simple finish. It was Doric Formella who scored the goal for Phoenix, by the way. Helping out his former team in the Oakland Roots. Coming through now, Ugo Akoli! That won't help the Roots! Akoli puts Monterey Bay ahead! Ugo Akoli, he just gives you that presence on the top line, and sometimes you just want it that little bit more between him, the Ville Hackshaw, and Emmer Clemento. Who was going to rise above the challenge? Who was going to get on the end of it? Great first touch to create that little bit of separation and just wrong foots. Paul Blanchette. Player striker to produce that little bit of indiv individual brilliance. Guy lining up to launch this one. Gets a running start from on the track. And launch it, he does. Top of the six. Almost fell for Moran. Hackshaw off the post and in! Nabil Hackshaw! Wow! What a moment! We're level! Good things happen when you whip the ball into a dangerous area. Moments ago, talking about Neville Hackshaw. He just has the luxury to give you the ability to break lines with his passing, but also gives you the ability to create something out of nothing. So instinctual, looking like a number nine, the overhead kick, not even a courtesy dive from Herrera, disbelief. All throughout the Monterey Bay players, but take a bow, Neville Hackshaw. Rebellion. Taken away by Davila, slips it into Lopez, who puts it past Tim Trill, and it's 1-0 RGV. Yeah, this is one of those goals in transition where every option was on the table. As this ball is warm and he's attacking the 18, he's got a player on the right that looks wide open that he can slip in. He's got Lopez on his left that he can slip in. Instead, he slips it into Lopez, who just, that's such an, it's, it's set up on a platter at that point because it's so difficult for the goalkeeper. And it comes off a turnover in Indy's defensive third. Not something that we've seen a ton of. Trying to go ahead for Moshe Oban. Quick restart from Vegas. Well played by the keeper. Diaz, get that one out in space. Into the box, the turn. That one blocked away, and it's in. Vegas is struck first here in the 17th minute. On a play started all the way back in net by Leo Diaz. Huge vision, eyes up, and he starts off the early goal. Backs forward, as you said, the distribution there by Diaz. Look at that, great kick all the way through. And then the 1v1 play, picks his head up, looks for the shot. There it is, little slip pass, and then a save by Coke Vegas, but Charlie Adams not goal side. It's an easy tap in right there. Now Loyal need to do something with this corner kick. Charlie Adams. Send it in, head it in! San Diego for the equalizing strike. Adrian Perez, what a piece! Here are the first. 
Beautiful, beautiful near post run from Perez. Makes it his eighth goal. See here, Charlie Adams is gonna whip this in right at the near post and Perez just elevates in front of his defender. Beautiful finish, top corner. Man who scored the game tying goal against Louisville back on Wednesday. Made it 3-3 at the time before Miami found a winner. To the back post, it's free and it's in. Miami against the run of play, have scored. And it's the former Legionnaire Ben Ofemu who puts the visitors in front. The opening strike for Miami. Ofemu just gives a little nudge to get space from Jake Roof and hammers it home. A terrific serve, bent and driven right on the six yard line. Peter goes of Trevor Spangenberg, who gave it away, and it's tapped in. Kyle Murphy's pressure gives Miami a second. Miami has to go in the 84th minute. Trevor Spangenberg, who's had very little to do, perhaps the easiest goal of his life, ball laid back. You can see it on the replay. Not a bad touch, but maybe a little bit of a slow touch. Murphy takes the shot, hits the bar. It's really a deflection, not a shot here, but gets the rebound.